day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Is it just because he want mankind to do well? It doesn't appear so. Because I lead all the horrendous stuff he allowed that happen outside of him. But you know, I, I, mean, I, I, I love what I just said though, is that change the focus on eternal life yes. as opposed to now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, that, that, well, all souls at it is, is a focus toward the eternal life. It's, it's not only the eternal, but it's, it's the now. Because if all souls matter, then black lives matter. Period. Yeah. So, so we also have to understand that even Jesus said, there will be those that come to me saying, Lord, Lord, haven't I done such and such? And, that's and I will say, depart from me. I never knew you. Never knew you. Okay, so that lets me know that not all these people who are going to church I know it, I know it. are going to make it so we can't we can't expect a change from everybody yeah uh, but <laughs> but we make the effort to reach these people by using the the, the gospel I like the, what you said and, 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 and preaching the, the word of God right I like what you said because that is the biggest concern is that they're they're deceived to believe that they know God but God is love. And if God is love, then you you supposed to operate toward that. But they've been taught, some people, I ain't talking about all people, but I, God bless us that there's great white brethren and great black brethren and everybody else. It's just the ones who I think they, and I think Chris or you brother Adam said it, they, some people think they're doing the right thing. They think that's just this is what they're supposed to do. And, and what we want to make sure is that the full gospel is preached, even in those churches, because the church endorsed it. I mean, if you go know, by history, Chris will tell you that. They endorsed this, this type of slavery. They did. Uh, and, and, you know, that video I was showing this for you, Dan, I'm going to go a little bit of it. But all of that was created, this racism and stuff was created for capitalism. Yeah, well, Mm, I heard a little bit. <laughs> uh, you think it was based on totally? I know. I believe a lot of it was based on capitalism. Do you think yes, the, the majority really felt that they were doing the right thing? Well, this this is the thing. Even even Cain, you know, his his was based on on pride. Yeah. And 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 selfishness. You know, it was about him. It was all about him. And his brother got something that he did. Now, we, this is another side of this coin that I've been thinking about as well. These these people, and, and I hate to go to, to Caucasian and, 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 and people of, of color, you know, but that's where the biggest divide is. But they despise us because of our color. And in my mind, are they jealous of our color because they're always trying to get it? They're trying to get a tan. They're trying to build their behinds. They're putting collagen in their lips and you know their butts. They're they're doing everything. They're they're curling their hair. Uh, they're they're doing everything to emulate people of color, but yet they look at us despiteful. You know when they see us, they're fearful of us, but they're trying to be us. And um, I remember there was a time where you could not even hear anything that, that was derived from, I'm talking about like music or, or anything like that, when you went into public. You heard elevator music. I, I know y'all remember, y'all old enough to remember that. Oh yeah, um, my, I'm with you, brother, because like you said, right now, you get in the elevator, Prince music is elevator music now. Yeah. Yeah, you go in the stores, there's no elevator elevator music in the stores. There's no elevator music in the elevator. There's no elevator music in in the uh, 
in, in inside the uh, the doctor's offices or, or any other place, uh, you know, that's in public. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure if you <laughs> if you go into a library in the background, you might be hearing some hip hop playing, exactly. <laughs> playing very lightly, you know, over the speakers. But uh, it, it's our, our culture is being appropriated and and used for financial gain. Yeah, exactly. um, so it, it it has some something to do with with finance, and, and and pretty much almost always has. Yeah. But in that, uh, the other side of that coin, other other side of of the financial gain, is uh, coveting. Huh? It again? Coveting. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I agree with you, brother. And here's the thing I, 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 uh, I've heard on uh, Facebook and online. Everybody want to be black till it's time to be black. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. You know, I even heard, uh, for, for, mm -hmm. for these words, I'm just going to say what was being said. I seen uh, two, well, actually, it was like four younger uh, white kids uh, jumping a uh, older white gentleman who was with his wife and they were they were fighting and the white kids are you know what's up nigga what's up nigga uh, 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 nigga uh, nigga and i'm like what really yeah <laughs> so i mean they, they're <laughs> they're trying to be like us and even calling themselves <laughs> i'm like are, are you serious <laughs> <laughs> you know, but 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 if they were to 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 run into the police, I guarantee you that whole front that they're putting on will disappear. Oh Lord! And then they will go into their privilege role, and 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 walk away from from the situation and circumstance. You know what I'm saying? So they're they're putting on uh on blackness like it's a it's a, a time. Like it's a, a costume because they 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 want to. Uh -huh. We have to put on a costume because we have to. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? But the problem, like the problem, the imagery they were putting on on that particular one. The image was, you know, they were they were they were you know, I'm in aggressive mode. I'm getting ready to be abusive to you, and I'm a, I'm gonna call you this n word. You know, yeah. it, it, it wasn't a civil tone, but. What I wanted to show, just keep the conversation going, but it is about capitalism. It started, and all the other stuff was just to justify the behavior of having power over something else, right? So look at this right here, though, because I always thought it was interesting. Let me ask you one quick question before we move on. Yes, is sir. capitalism about sin? But this is I mean, our propensity <laughs> toward that is that the, the result of our sin nature? It's about covetousness. Mm -hmm. Covetous. So, yeah, covetous. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. we're good. All right. Right. Now, look at this, uh, Brother Jackson. Yes, sir. Can you see the slide? I can. Can you read that slide for us? All right, you want me to read uh, all the way down to uh, from Kuwait? Right. Let's read it all. That. Okay, the title that you have on the slide, Pastor, is The Temptation of Jesus. And it says, Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him all these things will i give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me then jesus said unto him get thee hence satan for it is written thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve then the devil leaveth him and behold angels came and ministered unto him and then if we go into uh, chapter 16 verse 26 it says here, for what is a, uh, for what is a man profited, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For what shall it profit unto man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And then we go to Luke chapter nine verse twenty-five. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself, or be cast away? Yeah, yeah. Those are beautiful words. Yep. Those are beautiful words, but they don't. But they have no meaning until you begin to walk in them. 
Uh, I, I think some of it came across just a few minutes ago. Somebody said that everybody want to be black until it's time to put on black. Everybody want to be Christ until it's time to put on Christ. This stuff here, what we're inspiring people to do is actually give up for something that they can possess. We're asking them to adopt the mindset that cost them their comfort zone, that cost them something they're going to perceive their wealth, their, their prestige. All of these things we're asking them to get rid of. We're asking them to release that, give it to Christ. Is that supposed to be an easy thing for them? I mean, no, I mean, no, his story so we're supposed to, to just walk up and say, well, you know, y'all need to give these folks their money back. No. You know, y'all killed all these folks also, you need to do this. Are we yeah. really expecting our it. white brothers to say, okay, y'all equal to us, here, take your 40, million, 40, uh, 40 uh, acres and a mule. No, that's not going to happen. Oh. Um, is uh, it, is first of, this is the thing. It, a paradigm shift brings everyone back to zero everyone and people who have are not going to give up what they have right to move forward that's true. why jesus said it is not easy no. for a rich man Come on, he to said enter that. into the kingdom of god right. now uh these people have a paradigm they're stuck into their their mode of operation so much so that many of them aren't aware of the privileges that they really, really have, all of them. And, you know and so a paradigm shift is what we're trying to pursue in this uh, this 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 uh, culture that we're going through right now. Okay. It's causing these people to be vexed. It's causing them to challenge it. It's, it's even causing them to lie it is. about what this this cause is all about. So that they feel comfortable. Yes, sir. Now, of course, what, what is happening right now to cause them to even desire to do that? I mean, what? where's the benefit for them coming clean? In a sense? There asking, is no benefit for them because if they were to to come clean, that means that you have to give each person of color who is a native African American meaning someone who is uh, not an African that came here after and didn't endure all this stuff. Somebody who was born into this lifestyle because of their ancestors. All of them are supposed to get land and cattle. And that is capitalism. That right there gives you power and authority. Um, the, the the brother that I, I sent the, the video out, uh, uh, Claude Anderson explains that very well. Right. That we have no capitalism, we have no financial authority in this Western world because we don't own anything. Yeah. And only when you own stuff and you have the capital to pay for these congressmen to do what they need to do because they're not going to outside of being paid. Right. Yeah. They're not going to make any changes if you don't have the capital to enforce the change. Right. If you don't have the land to possess to make a change within yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Because we yeah. can, we can, if we had our own communities like we had before civil rights, even though we were, we had less than, we were better off. We had our own. Well, you know, we, 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 we were more driven to succeed. There was less uh, black on black crime. There was less falling out of school and all that other stuff. We were trying to achieve based on what we had. But as soon as we started coveting what these white people had over what we needed, then that's when we fell apart. Well, you know, but what I want to do, like you say, is about the soul and reaching the, 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 the soul. That that parable or that temptation of Christ. Remember, we said he was he was tempted for forty days, forty nights, right? And he was tempted, right? For forty days, forty nights. And then after those temptations, he had these three temptations, right? One was turn the stone to bread. One was to throw himself off the cliff. And then it was this third temptation. And, and, and you see, 
This is, I think, that the issue going on right now that falls around with capitalism. It says, of all, you remember he, what he tempted them all in that last one we just read, Brother Jackson? What was he tempted? Them? With all the kingdoms. How? Huh? Wasn't it with all the kingdoms? All the glory. He said, oh, look, Everything. the yeah. glory yeah. of all these kingdoms. Yes. Which means power, the power, the prestige, you know, uh, the, the glitter and, and the gold, and, you know, all the stuff you're talking about. Possessing power of all those kingdoms. And it was a temptation. It had to be a temptation because you when you you know Jesus had to be tempted to Jesus. My question is, is that something that happened to some of our brethren that claim I mean, to be let, let, Let's make it personal. Would you give up what you have right now? Good question. Are you talking about, if you're asking that person, right? No, I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, I want to. Would, would you give up? Would you give up everything that you have right now to further the kingdom of God? No, no. I would, I would not. I think, I think we should balance that out correctly. In the Book of Acts, chapter five, they gave, they they sold what they had, they gave to those people who needed it, but they didn't give everything to them. No, no, no. I'm I'm not. But Jesus did. Well. They were supposed to, if they said they were going to give everything, they were supposed to. That's how Ananias and Sapphira did, because they lied and said they gave this very Remember Peter said, if it was yours from the beginning, you didn't have right. to lie about it. Right. The church is not telling, it, 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 the church is not, there's people who are nuns, there's monks, there's priests, there's people who are in ministry that have given up everything yep. to, to serve God only. There's people that do that. And then there's people who's supposed to be. He said you have the poor with you all way. But he don't make he don't want you to sit there and say, this is his mind. Ten of this is on this one. He don't expect Brother Jackson to, to just come poor. And get no, no, no. I, I didn't I never said come become poor. You said because see, thing. Jesus asked that rich man to give go sell all that he have and come and 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 walk follow with him, him and, and, and follow him. Right. And, and 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 minister with him, right. but he would have gotten far yeah. greater yeah. in return, you right. know, uh, especially during that particular time, right? Because they were under the law, and and, and under the law, you you do good, you get good, so, you know, you do bad, you get bad. We're, you, we're under grace, but you know, brother, you know, so brother. so that that requirement isn't. Isn't to that extreme, but my point being is that requirement actually is to the extreme. But, 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 in, in, in three fourteen says a man did not give up all that he had cannot be my disciple. Yeah, well, but, but that that happen. was what I was coming at, you know. But my and when I'm saying that, will you give up everything you have for for God? My point being is, if if the requirement came for me to open up my home for somebody, if God told me to do that. Then will I do that? If will, will I go to the bank and pull out every dime I had yep. and give it to someone that God told me to give it to? Yep. You know, will I give my vehicle up if God told me to give my vehicle up? You know, will I go out and 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 put my my family second to go minister this gospel for my Lord and Savior? Will I do all that? Well, you know, you know, brother. You know, when, you when, know, when the Lord, when the Lord asked that. me. For their job, don't they? Some people uh, don't they, give their, some people give their life for their job. Their job. I mean, they they you know they put more time in their job than with their family. People have done that, not to God, but they've done that to this capital. That's what people are doing right now. They're they are putting everyone's lives in danger. Yes, sir. For that right there. Exactly. You have this pandemic going on, yep. and for a job. These people are putting their families at risk, uh, especially our government. Our government is trying to get people to to uh, experience this 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 pandemic for their benefit. If, if you ask me, if you want to be in service, then I think everybody in Congress should be in the trial for these drugs. Yeah, yeah. You you want you want to be a leader? Then you guys take this drug. 
for the trial phase. Right, right. Hey, but look, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or the fact is that people are, are politically so motivated by politics that they want to have, you know, some people say, I want to have the House, the White House, I want to have Congress, I want to have Senate. I, I, you know, they're motivated to get that at all costs. You know what I mean? But my concern is, it's is, 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 is all this glory, meaning all this power, is, is driving the train for all the atrocities that's happening today. You yeah. know, when Charlottesville occurred, what would they say? I will not be replaced. Well, Jack, what would they ask? What, 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 replacing what? They said, we're not being replaced. What was they concerned about losing? Well, they, were, they were concerned about losing, you know, their essence. And, uh -huh. um, you know, if we go back to, you know, where they got that from uh, in Germany, you know, likewise, you know, they used the Jews as a focal point um, for a lot of their, their ills and things that were going wrong, um, you know, forgetting the history as to how they got to where they were. But um, that's what they did. You know, and likewise, you know, they, uh, it, it's, it's done with us. But I think that this conversation, and, and I, I'm not sure Brother, Brother Addison was kind of uh, trying to get, get there uh, earlier. Uh, it, we, we've gotten off of keeping our focus on what is spiritual. And we keep looking at the secular, trying to explain these secular things when it's really all in the spiritual realm. And what we are seeing is it's just the manifestation thereof. You know, um, you, you, I think you said, you know, is this generation of haters teaching others to go to hell? You know, Brother Addison talked about we got to be careful of, of, of judging. And um, the thing is, is whether we look at this from a, the American perspective, if we look at from the Chinese perspective, from any any place, I mean, if you, we just look at it, we go go to go to Africa, go to South America, go anywhere um, on this globe. We are actually this is the same conversation. Somebody's putting somebody down. We go to Haiti right now. You know, there's slavery in Haiti. You know what I mean? And um, we've got the sex trafficking. Um, we've got all kinds of things. So it's not just it's not just us in America. We're just going through our historical aspect of it in these 244 years. And, you know, I think what happens is, is when we have these conversations um, and we try to go, I think, back and forth and intertwine what's going on. And it gets so convoluted that it's easy to get off of a uh, topic. Now, in Matthew, uh, and, and again, I got to get ready to go, guys. But um, when we were talking about this stuff earlier, you know, I'm trying to make sense of it all. But, you know, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 43, and you guys are familiar with this, and it says here, Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemy. Bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. They may be the children of your father, which is in heaven. Now, see, uh, excuse me, that ye may be the children of your father, which is in heaven. For he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain unto the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same. And if ye right. salute your brethren only, what do you more than the others? Do not even the publicans also. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. To me, what we've got to do is just all of that stuff that rises up in us from the flesh, because that's what it is. It's from the flesh. It ain't from the Spirit of God, because the Spirit of God is going to take this in a whole nother way. The Spirit of God is going to come back with love. The Spirit of God is going to come back with sacrifice. The Spirit of God is going to come back willing to suffer for our brother. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, uh, and, and 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 I, I don't have that much time to kind of to kind of go through all of this stuff. But I mean, we we're saying a lot of things. But I think that again, in America, we keep. This is for me. This is Antoine Jackson. You know, we, we, we stick to this white black thing, and I think we get off topic, but we get we, we lose our focus once again when it's really 
you know, when we talk about the souls. And then when it goes to black, the Black Lives Matter situation, um, we know what the, the thing is, is we all know, that's when people say all lives matter. We know what it's, what's being said is that, that listen, we know all lives matter. You're not trying to tell us that, but what it is, is our lives has always mattered less than your life. And so- I God though, and that becomes the issue. It's never been that way with God. I understand that. And that's what we, that's what I'm saying is when we, when we start looking at it from a secular and a fleshly, a carnal perspective, we lose the focus and, and even lose, you know, start losing the strength in our, in our debate when we're trying to talk to our, our brothers and sisters, you know, about these things. I think because we can't even, you mentioned it, Elder, you know, we can't even, we, we got the same problem in our own culture. So, you know, how are we going to talk to somebody else about what's going on in their culture? And in our culture, I mean, if anything, we should, hey, we, we, we ought to have our act together because of all of the things that we've been through, okay? And lastly, because again, I...